Hi guys. Good night, everybody. How you doing? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. It's been a pleasure to have you here. We do have Glendy here. Isaura. Mr. Francisco Villafuerte. Hi, teacher. We do here. also have Christian. Good evening, Arnold. teacher. Is I vote? Oh, hi, David. All righty. We do have a lot of boys and girls today. That's amazing. Ruth, where have you been, my baby girl? Hey. I cannot listen to you. I think you're on mute right now. Hi, teacher. Hi, sweetie. How you been? <laughs> How are you? Oh, pretty good. Now it's my turn. Okay. I, my mom and I, I am there. so happy. How are you doing? I am so happy. Hi, me too. You Love are very, very um, oh. excellent t-shirt. <laughs> I'm trying to do my best. You're going to have so much fun, guys. Okay. <laughs> but I'm crazy and she knows that for sure. <laughs> Hi. Oh my God. This is not the first time that I'm have Ruth as a student, but I have um some of you that is the first time, right? Is that okay? Would you like me to speak only English? Half English, half Spanish? Only English teacher. Only English. All right. What about you? Are you agree with that, Isara? Elizabeth, Francisco? Yes, I agree with David. You agree with David? I'm here because I am. I like to learn uh -huh. the English. <laughs> oh, my God. I think you're going to be in a huge trouble with me. <laughs> well, but it's up to you. All right, it's good. Don't worry about it. Okay, this is a pre-advance, right? It's pre-advance. That means 80% is English or 99.9% .9 English. What do you want? Francisco, what's your opinion about that? Good evening, teacher. For Good evening, me. sir. Full English, please. Full English. Okay. All right. There's no problem at all with me. All righty. But don't worry about it. Even though we're going to speak English, sometimes I speak fast. Right, Ruth? And... If you do not understand what I said, or if I speak really fast, or if you have doubt about any word that I mentioned, please feel free to raise your hand and say, teacher, could you please repeat that idea? Or could you please let me know what that word means? And don't worry, I will be more than glad to repeat it for you, okay? Ah, no, 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 no. Are you, are you okay? Are you agree with me? Yes, yes, yes okay. teacher. That's what I need. Energy. Come on. I know that it's 9 a.m. No, I am 9 p.m. But of course, we're going to have a lot of energy. We're going to have so much fun. I promise. I will do my best. Okay, so I need to know you guys. I need to know you. Ha! Huh. Who, David? What are you doing with that cell phone, my man? Am I going to kill you? <laughs> okay, so, I, he's, he's texting the girlfriend, I think so, right? Uh, okay, hopefully not. Okay, you know, honey, I'm sorry, but I'm in English class and my teacher is like a really cool, cool girl, so I got to pay 100% attention to what she's saying. Okay, all right. No, don't worry. If it's an emergency, I do understand, David. Don't worry. I'm just trying to, to, to just like, <laughs> I'm trying to like teasing you. You know what teasing is? I'm teasing you. I'm not joking. I'm teasing you. <laughs> Okay. Teacher. You know what's the difference between teasing and joking? No, I have never uh, listened to that word. Ah, okay. But you know what joke means, guys? Yes. What is a joke? A joke is something funny. That... Uh -huh. Something uh -huh. funny, but makes everybody laugh, right? Yes. Okay. But when I'm saying and I'm teasing you, other... I mean, that means that I know joking with everybody. I'm joking just with you. Okay. So when you say the word tease, it's because you're making jokes with one person in particular. Yeah? Yeah. That's the word teasing. That's the difference from joking or kidding. That's the main difference. 
kidding and joking, you are making jokes and funny stories with everybody. But when you're teasing, you're teasing, you're making jokes with one person in particular. Do you understand the difference? Yes, that is okay. new for me. <laughs> cool. All right. Thank you. Okay. So my name is Sylvia. I'm gonna be your English mentor for the rest of the model. Hopefully, we're gonna have so much fun. I know that if you have seen, I have a lot of energy. And I do have a lot of energy. And I expect that my students have also as much energy as they can. Because sometimes I do understand that you're coming from the university or you're coming from your work, right? And it has been a tough day for you. But don't worry about it. We're going to be, we're not going to be just a teacher and students. Please, we're going to be by the end of the model, hopefully in a family, as a team, as a friends. Are you agree with me? Yeah? Yes, sir. Okay, cool. Okay, so don't worry about it. Feel free to ask anything that you need, any doubts that you have regarding the, the topics, any doubts that you have regarding the exercises of the platform. You can do it. Don't worry about it. I'm I'm an easygoing teacher. And sometimes I'm crazy with grandma. So, if, but I promise you guys, if you don't love grandma, if you hate that word, by the end of the course, you're going to love grandma with me. Because I'm going to make you feel that it's not like, formulas and all those stuff. Grandma is really useful in our daily basis. And you'll see what I'm talking about later on on the rest of the week. Okay, hey guys, let me ask you, let me let you know something about this little crazy teacher that you have for this model. Because um, I, I respect that my, my babies, I, that's what I call my students, my babies, because you are my babies. And I'm a mama goza. Okay, so I expect that you guys, if we are not able to come, but hopefully you're coming at 80% of the classes, um, you study every day. If you're not able to come for some reason, please watch the video because I'm going to upload it every single night. So you're going to see it next week at 6 a.m. in the morning. It will be already there for you to watch it. Um, because I'm a crazy teacher, I always do a recaps for the previous league classes. And I don't know who I'm going to pick. And I will ask straight ahead a question. And hopefully answer. Okay. So that's really, really important. Um, also, I'm going to make um, some jokes, some games. And at the end of the class, I'm going to do like a recap of everything that we have seen, but with a game. Have you played Kahoot? No? Yes, I have. I have played Kahoot. But you have played I... Kahoot? Oh, yes, good. But... So you're like a, a little bit familiar with what it's about, right? But yes. this teacher make a, makes a really crazy Kahoots. Yeah, you have to use two devices to play. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, so basically, guys, Kahoot is, um, is a game. But at the same time, it's a didactic and like um, really interactive game because everybody plays, everybody participates. And at the same time, it helps us not only as a teacher to double check which topics you're um, understanding, which topics you're really like a extra reinforce, but also helps you as a student, as an individual, double check which are your areas strong areas and at the same time which areas are that you need to improve a little bit okay it's like a self study if you can say that so that will be really nice because it will be really fun i promise and if you're sleeping with me watch out i'm just kidding <laughs> no nah, just kidding all righty so i'm gonna be your teacher um and i have one rule you have Two choices with me, or a study, or a study. What do you prefer? Pick one. A study. Study, of course. And second rule, speak or a speak. What do you prefer? Speak. Speak. You got to speak with me. You will speak with me. All righty, awesome. All right, so 
the teacher needs to sip a little bit. And I need to know more about ya, okay? Let me start with, let's see, I don't know, randomly. Eeny, meeny, money, mo. Okay, Francisco, tell me something about yourself. Good evening, teacher. My name is Francisco Villafuerte. I live in Long, Lourdes, Colón. I employ it. I work in the insurance company. I am single. I have three sons and three dogs. Um, I like cooking. I like dancing. I like uh, make exercise. Um, I like read. I wanna uh, learn English. Oh my God! You thank you, Frank. Oh, have do you listen to what he said? He's single. We need his. Telephone, fax, email, you know? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. My, my number from the 5555. Five, five, five. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> yes, of course. And, and he loves to dance. And he also loves to cook. Hey, guys, paying attention. Because we're going to develop the four skills. And one of them is the listening part. And I'm starting for the very first day. So I'm going to make you like a few questions for what your co-workers have said, okay? So paying attention to what he said. Okay, cool. Thank you, Frank. What about Evelia? Okay, girl, tell me something about yourself. Okay, good evening. My name is Isaura and they call me Chavita. And I am 32 years old and I have to... The children, they are boys, and I like to learn English, and I like to dance and sing, and I like to walk to the park, and only that. <laughs> only that. That's good. You got a two baby boys. When you instead of yes. you saying two boy children, you can say two baby boys. Okay, teacher. That's great, but that's good. Okay. You have one thing in common with Francisco. You love to dance, right? That's amazing. Good job. But you are you paying attention? Hopefully you do. Mm -hmm. All righty. Uh, Alicia. Carla Alicia Barrera Mena. Good evening. Good evening, girl. Tell me something about yourself. My name is Carla Barrera. I'm a computer systems engineer. Okay. I like to perform the English okay. for having a, an excellent pronunciation and I can have a good conversation with other people. Oh my God. I like to share with my family and friends and uh, with the, for the sport, I like to. Uh, swim you like to swim hey me yes. too baby girl we have one thing in common oh that's great good job all righty <laughs> another boy another big team i'm sorry another participant and um, all righty mr saul alexander lozano calderon it's been a pleasure to have you here good night teacher how good are night. you oh my goodness he has a radio voice. Good night, teacher. How are you doing? Okay, cool. Hi, good night, yeah. my friend. Tell me something about yourself. Um, yeah, my name is Saul Alexander Lozano Calderon. I am 42 years old. <gasps> You're younger. Don't I worry. live in Japan, El Salvador. And I like to be here to study English. With you, why? You. Um, because I am in interesting in, um, well, learn more English. Okay. I've been in the USA for like ten years, but I don't, <laughs> I don't study there that much mm -hmm. that I mm -hmm. that I have to. But right now I am so positive to. Get the most I can 
And oh my then, God, great. Uh... And um, that's what I am here. I am, um, I love sports. I love listen to music, watch videos in English. Okay. I love movies in English, all of, all of that. So that's it. Very Thank good. You. So you love uh, English and video movies. Okay, that's great. Hey, tell me about sports. Do you have a favorite sport by any chance? Yeah, my favorite sport is uh, um, soccer. What? My favorite, my favorite sports is soccer. A oh, soccer, oh, really? Soccer. Oh, yeah, great! Yeah. Any favorite uh soccer player or team? Yeah, I am. Um, fan of uh, Real Madrid. Real Madrid. Okay, cool. Yeah. And then Catherine said, "Like, <laughs> no, no, no." <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing, it, Alex. Uh, would you like me to call you or oh, everybody calls you Alexander Saul or Saul Alexander? Um doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Uh, All right, maybe. I don't mind. I don't mind. You know why I don't? Okay, because when yeah, I, I called Evelia, she said, <clears throat> My name is Sarah, by the way. And I was like, mm. Okay. Uh, that's what I was yeah. asking you about it. Okay, cool. Oh, but thank you, Alex. So tell me, Zara, would you like uh, everybody calls you Zara or Avelia? Avelia, oh. sorry. That's so nice. Does I it love. matter? Okay. Yes. Phew. Okay. I thought I was in trouble. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, girl. All righty. Elizabeth, what about you, my baby girl? Uh, Isabel Elizabeth. Oh, I Elizabeth? Yeah, Isabel. Oh, it's because uh, Isabel, Elizabeth. So how do you would like to call us Elizabeth, Isabel, or how? Isabel or Isa. Isa. Okay, cool. Isa. Okay. Listen, guys. Isa. All right. <laughs> tell me something about yourself. Um, I am 17 years old. Oh, I live baby girl. lower this colon. And I'm studying medicine. And I pertinence, uh, I say in the team or basketball. Mm. My favorite team is Warriors. Okay. Uh, my favorite player is Curry. Uh huh. <laughs> I knew it. I I like uh, play music music oh. and I like uh, see watch the movie in English. Okay. Or uh -huh. I watch a uh, music. Really? Do you play any instrument? Do you play the guitar? Yeah. Really? Guitar. Oh my God. You see, yeah. Francisco, we're already making a, a party here. We got two boys. <laughs> you you can uh, you can dance. I think Isara can dance as well, right? And we have Isa to play the um, the guitar, right? So we're making yeah. a really good party. That's good. Hey, do you live near Francisco, by the way? No? Do you live near? Do you live near? No? No. No? no. Not really? Because she said that she lives in the Lourdes, right? So I do you. Where she live. Okay. Okay. Ah, it's a huge city. Okay. Cool. All righty. You listen what Isa said, right? Hopefully you did. All righty. Let's see. Another big team. <clears throat> Sorry. David. My man, David. What about you, sir? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, sir. Um, I like to be called David. David, okay, cool. <laughs> yes, um, nice to meet you, teacher. Nice to so, meet you. So, um, I'm gonna tell you something about uh, about me. I was born in 19, 1997. Actually, I am 26 years old. I'm single. I don't have any children. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, she says single. <laughs> okay. I was born. I was born in Santa Ana, but I moved to San Salvador when I was 18 years old. Mm -hmm. Because I keep on that in high school, I mm -hmm. graduated, and I had um, I found a job, 
uh, but in the pandemic, I I lost it. Oh. Um, so I started um, uh, studying English mm -hmm. uh, with uh, English uh, English online. Um, I really like to improve English uh, with this module, with this course. Uh, great teachers, great classmates, everything is very good. I like to uh, make sports. My favorite sports are swimming, uh, roller skating, and skateboarding. <laughs> I really like those uh, sports, and I'm so glad to be here, and nice to meet you. Again. Nice to meet you too, David. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that was a great speech. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> you know what? Thank you. So I, I, I'm going to give you like a, a warning because my pets, I love animals by heart. And I have two dogs and one cat. So sometimes, by the way, you will see somebody behind me. Don't be scared. Oh my God. It might be. Sassy, that's the cat, the little girl, that's the princess of the house. Then it could be whiskey, but not the beverage, right? It's, the, it's my pet's name. And it could be chestnut, whiskey <laughs> song. So just to let you know in advance, because whiskey right now is next to me. Yes, right? He's 11 years old, by the way. Okay, cool. All righty, who else? Glendy, haha, <laughs> don't fall asleep. Ha, <laughs> Glendy. Miss Flores Ramirez, nice to meet you. Tell us something about yourself. Nice to meet you. Well, my name is Glendy Flores. I live in Tagachico, La Libertad. Wow. I have wow. one dog. Um, my favorite hobbies are uh, listening to music, but I can dance. <laughs> uh, you can, you and can. You can. can. Or you can't. Can't. Are oh, you can? Okay, cool. I can't. I can't. Are oh, you can't? Ah, come on. Well, we can uh, make like a class or dance class with Francisco and Isaura. That doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. We we'll find your <laughs> teacher. Okay, okay, continue. That's it. No, that's it. <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you, baby girl. Catherine, yeah. what about you? Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. My name is Catherine Alejandro Hernandez. I am 25 years old. I am a lawyer. Uh, actually, I work in for the Organo Judicial. Mm -hmm. Um, I live in Ciudad Delgado, <laughs> San Salvador. Oh, okay. Uh, mm, I like listening to music, uh, watching Korean drums. <laughs> really? Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah. Only that. Only that. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Cool. Ah, uh, Ruthie, what about you? Thank you, dear. Hi, teacher. Hi. Uh, my name is uh, Marielos. I am 41 years old. You're I younger, live, don't worry. Um, near Miral Valle, mm -hmm. San Salvador. Um, I have eight dogs. Eight? <laughs> now are eight. Goodness. Yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> But um, but um, I am see um sale two two dogs. Okay. Ah. Are, okay. Cool. Are, are chihuahuas. Oh. Uh, still learning English. Still um, I have difficult for um the listening part. Yes. Very very very. Um, I, uh, I need. If you can me. Uh, more slowly. It's ah, more okay. Slowly. Yes. Ah, um, I will try to do my best. Okay. Yes. <laughs> um, I try. I try. Um, my favorite. Um, 
uh, work it, uh, food okay, is food. shrimps. Oh, really? With garlic. Oh, of course, shrimps. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yes, of course. Same. I like listen, listen uh, music in English for okay. learning. Okay. Uh, the same with um, big, uh, movies. Mm -hmm. um, only. That's it? Yes. Oh, thank you so much. Thank That's you, teacher. Amazing. Thank you, Ruthie. Oh, Mariela, sorry. Mariela, oh my God. Oh, no, doesn't matter. Como se quiera, teacher. Okay, whatever I wish. Okay, cool. Thank you, girl. You know what? There's a baby girl. She's, she's like, listen to everybody like, mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but now I think it's her turn to, to express a little bit about herself. Natalie. Hey, Natalie. What's up, baby girl? <laughs> now it's your turn. Okay, go ahead, my bear. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Um, my name is Natalie Rebecca Peña. You can call me Natalie. Okay, cool. uh, I'm 31 years old. Younger. I live in Armenia, Sonsonate. Mm -hmm. I have two daughters <gasps> and I, for the moment, I work at in Industrial Texano. My work is about a uh, industrial embroidery machine. Okay. And my free time, I like to go to the gym and I like uh, to watch uh, movies mm -hmm. and listen to the music. And that's it. That's it? Yes. All righty. That's awesome. That's good. All right. Thank you, dear. And let's listen uh, one more. Um, Rebecca, Janelle Hernandez. Hi. How you doing, baby girl? I cannot listen to you. I think you because of your earphones. Try to do your best. No, I cannot listen to you. Can you listen to her? No, we don't listen. Maybe if you take out your earphones, maybe, and unplug them. Yes, yes, much better. Thank you. Okay. Good evening, one to all. My name is Rebecca Janelle Hernandez Castellanos, and I'm 34 years old. Younger. Um, actually, I work in Immigration El Salvador. Wow, good. Uh, uh, I like to listen to music, and mm -hmm. uh, in my free time, I like to um see movies and take care of my pets. Oh, how many pets you have? How many excuse me, I don't understand the question. How many, how many pets? pets you have? Huh? I'm in a zoo in my house. <laughs> really? The full house here? <laughs> yeah. Um, dogs, cats, four, care, parrots, dogs, for for dogs, two cats, and many pigs. <laughs> really? Oh my god, that's amazing! It's like a farm. Huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would be nice. Oh, but that's great. I love animals. My heart. Oh, that's nice. Thank um, you. Tell me, do you would like to do? Uh, what are your leisure activities? Excuse me. I Do you know what leisure to... activities are? I sent uh, um, a message via chat right now. What is leisure uh, activities? Leisure activities. What's the meaning of leisure? I don't. Thank I you don't... so much for asking me that question. Do you remember, guys, that you said, I love to listen to music, I love to dance, I love to do this, I love to do that? Do you remember that you said that? The yes. leisure activities are activities that you are doing because for fun, because you love to do. Those are activities that you do in your free time. Okay. So when you're talking about uh, dance, 
cook, sing, watch. Those are activities that you do because uh, they're for recreation, right? Because they make you feel good, right? So we called those activities leisure activities. Instead that you're doing, that you're saying, for example, on my free time or on my days off, I do this and this and this. You can say, my leisure activities are, and you start mentioning it. So you see, you're increasing your vocabulary right now. So now you know that leisure activities are all the activities that you do on your day offs, on your free times, or the activities that makes you feel good. Painting, drawing, taking pictures, reading, all of those are leisure activities. So now tell me, Ms. Hernandez, what are your leisure activities? Well, I like to garden. Oh, good, me too. It's really relaxing. I, yes. Um, I like to listen music in English. Mm -hmm. and actually, I'm in a course of designing. Oh, great. Saturdays. All Saturday mornings or the entire yeah. Saturday? No, Saturday mornings. Saturday mornings. Okay, cool. Oh my God, that's amazing. Do you see, guys? When you saw Rebecca, you never knew that she loves to draw. That she loves um, plants. Please call me Janelle. I don't oh, like excuse Rebecca. Me. Excuse me, excuse me. That's I why like I always Rebecca. ask. So Janelle will be the way that everybody calls you? Janelle? See, yes. Janelle, okay. Okay, okay so Janelle. Thank you, Janelle. Thank you so much. All right, so now, guys, guess what? It's about to ask you something about your classmates right now. Uh, were you paying attention, by the way? Hopefully you did. Okay, let's play the game. The game says, who says that? Aha, uh -huh, Eda, Lisette Pineda. Go ahead, girl. Okay. Um only want to to meet with you. With you want to say something about yourself? Uh, yes. Oh, of course. Go ahead. Okay. My name is uh, Eda Lisset Pineda. Mm -hmm. You can all call me Eda. Okay. Um, I'm 40, 47 years old. Younger. I'm married and I have two children. My, uh, in fact, they are teenagers. Um, my daughter is uh, 21 years old. My my boy is uh, 19 years old. And I have a pet. That is a fish poodle. Okay. Uh, she called the uh, Duffy. Mm -hmm. And I I am a housewife, but I enjoy to to ha make handcrafts. Really? And huh? in fact, I try to is yes, I try to start my own business about. Um, I try to to make gifts to other persons, my family, my relatives, and, and friends. And it's a good way to to make money. <laughs> yeah. And definitely. I I, I uh, try to improve my English, but it's uh, really difficult to me. For example, my my listening, I I have a, a problem with moments. Uh, how do you say? Sobre todo. Because of. Uh, uh, when when the people talk is really fast, it's it's really <laughs> difficult to me. But I try to to do understand. Yes, that's what yes. I like to do your best. Yes, I try to do my my best. No, yes. that's okay. Thank that's you so it. much for letting me know thank that. Thank you. No, thank yes. you, Ara. Already. Thank. You. Okay, guys. Who said? that lives in uh, Lourdes, Kalan. Who said that? 
Me living. No, 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 don't say don't. Francisco, Francisco, please. Francisco y a fuerte en. Um, Samantha. Ah, um, Carla. Carla. No. Isabo, no. Francisco, yeah, you got one point, Ruthie. But it was a baby girl. You're right. But okay. who else? Hey, help her. Come on. Carlita. Isabo. Who? I'm sorry. Excuse me. Isabo uh -huh. and Francisco so, say that they live in the world is Colón. Francisco and who else? Isabo Elizabeth Torres. Exactly. Yeah. Good job. All righty. Who said that um has two baby boys? Two baby boys, not two baby girls. Oof. Isaura? Isaura. Not sure. No, I'm just asking. You gotta be sure about your answer. Yes, Isaura. Yeah, Isaura, right? Cool. Very good. Okay, who said that works in a textile company? Natalia Rebecca. Natalie? Yes. yes. Very yes. good. Very good. Who says that she is um system engineer? Carla. Carla? Very good. Very good. Excellent. Who said, you know what? I gotta be honest with you. I can't dance. Who said that? <laughs> Glendy. Glendy. Glendy, very good, very good, Janelle. Okay, who also said that she loves animal by heart and she has a full house of animals and one of her favorite leisure activities is gardening. Janelle. Janelle. Janelle, very good, oh my goodness. You are so smart, you are paying attention. Who came from the U.S.? Who has been there? David. 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 Are you sure? Eva. Eva. Nah. -ah. No. Uh, who has a radio voice, by the way? Come on. Come on. Shame on you. Who has a radio voice that that when he started speaking it was like <gasps> Oh, Saul. Ah, thank you so much. You see, <laughs> my expression works. Visual effects really works every time. Okay, cool. Now, tell me something. I think last but no least, who has a lot of puppies and she's thinking about selling two right now? Ruth. Ruth, very good, very good. Hey, don't help him with your smile, Ruthie. Come on. <laughs> okay, guys, tell me. What I, I have heard from you and what you have let me know is that you would like to improve your listening skill, right? That is one of the skills that you would like to work a lot. Is there something else that you would like to improve in this course besides listening? What else? Ruth. Uh huh. Ruth. No, no, no. I know. I said, no, I'm talking about everybody, Eda. Everybody. You want to improve your listening, right? What else? What other skill you would like to improve? By speaking, speaking and reading. Speaking. And reading. Yeah. Reading or writing? Writing. Writing. Uh -huh. writing. Reading and writing. Okay, very good. Very good. Yes, we will. Definitely we will. will. I'm going to start with a really a simple example, but then I'm going to improve it and upgrade it from simple one to a hardest one, okay? That will be really fun. And you're gonna love grammar with me. So that's what you would like to learn, right? To improve your speaking, your listening, and your reading. Well, basically the four skills, right? The four skills, yeah. Right. I, will, I will send you basically every day, guys, uh, let me ask you, is, is everybody enrolled 
or accept the invitation to be part of the WhatsApp group by any chance? Is everybody in the WhatsApp group or no? Yes. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you have not for any reasons, please join the WhatsApp group because a WhatsApp group is a really main key for me. During the class, I will send you any link or for example, I will send you any um homework there and you gotta be there, please. If you're not there, please, you gotta be there, okay? That will be really, really important for me. Okay, let's play something. Today will be relaxing. Today is introducing, don't worry. Tomorrow we're going to start the blood, but right now, don't worry about it, okay? All right. Um, do you know the parts of the body? Do you remember them? Yeah? Yeah. Yes. How do you call these in English? Yeah. Hair. 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 All right. What about this? Ear. 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 What about this? Uh, Eyebrow. Eyebrow. Uh, what about this? Eyelash. Eyelashes. Eyelash. What about this? Eye. Eye. And this? No. 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 And this? No. Um, huh? The, How do you say this the, in English? Uh, so. Chin. Chin. Very good. And <laughs> this? Chick. Chick. All right. Very good. La barra. Uh huh. What about this? Forehead. Forehead. Very good. Oh. What about this? <laughs> Neck. 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 When you are fired, they give you in that. Nick, right? Remember that? <laughs> uh -huh. All right. What about this? Shoulder. 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 What about Shoulder. this? Shoulder. Arm. Back. Uh, back. back. Arm. And this? Hand. 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 And this? Hand. Fingers. 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 And this? Nails. Nails. And this? Wrist. Wrist. And this? Elbow. 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 When you're not right, like giving to everybody, you have like, you're like, right? Remember that. But you don't call that elbow. You call it scrooge. Okay, very <laughs> good. All right. So let's play the game. Have you played Simon Says? Yes. Yes. Yeah? Okay. But I got yes. a rules. Remember. Okay. You need to, to touch the part of your body that you listened to me saying, not that you watch me. For example, if I said, Simon says, touch your hair. And I touch my chin. You have to touch your chin or you touch, you touch your hair. The hair. You need to touch your hair. Exactly. Because that's what I said. If you touch a different part of your body, you're loose. If you're like, took forever. To touch your part of your body, you lose. And for example, I said, touch your back, but I did not say Simon says, and you touch your back, mm -hmm. you lose. You got it? Got it. Yeah? Got it. I got okay, it. cool. So let's let's do like a, like a warming up. Okay, this one is not going to count, but let's see how you are preparing. You will understood instructions. Okay, Simon says... Touch your chick. You lose, Alexander. You lose, Flat Ruti. Uh huh. Oh, uh huh. You see, because you were saying, Where's my chick? Where's my. Ah, here is my chick, right? <laughs> Remember, chick, chin. Those are quite. Close to the pronunciation, but they're different. Okay, are you ready? Okay, this one is going to count. Okay, Simon says, touch your hair. Simon says, touch your nose. Simon says, touch your cheek. Simon says, touch your back. Touch your shoulder. Bye, Francisco. Bye, Alex. Bye, Natalie, because I said, touch your shoulder. I didn't say Simon says. 
<laughs> you did it, right? Okay. Let's continue. Let's continue playing. Let's see who's gonna be the the finalist. Okay, Simon says, touch your forehead. Simon says, touch your hair. Simon says, touch your mouth. Simon says, touch your teeth. Teeth. Mm -hmm. Ah. <laughs> okay, Simon says, touch your back. Touch your elbow. Bye, David. Bye, Natalie. Bye, Alexander. Bye, Isa. I thought I didn't say Simon says. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you see? You're warming it up a little bit. I know. You were in trouble, right? <laughs> Janelle, don't do that, that face to me. Like, <laughs> sorry, baby girl. Okay, but that's good. You see, we recap. The name of the body is really, really important. Remember, those are fingers, but how you call the fingers of your feet and your foot? How you call them? Remember? Toes. Fingers are the ones that you have in your hands, but the ones that you have in your foot are toes. Oh. Toes, exactly. Never forget about that. Okay, cool. All righty, excellent. Oh my God, we have 10 minutes. Hey, that's amazing. Okay. You would like to play the game now, don't worry. Tomorrow, guys, we're going to talk about uh, problems, complaints. Tell me, tell me and be honest with me. And be honest with yourself. Who had never complained about anything? You know what complain is? You know what that means? Of course. Yes? Jonelle, yeah. Ruthie, Isa, Carlita, Frank, David? You know what complain is? Yeah? Jonelle, no? For example, when you go to a restaurant and you order your favorite food that said chicken, fried chicken, but when you receive, it was grilled chicken. Is that what you order? No. No. What no. did you order, Janelle? Fried chicken. Fried chicken. So you complain. You go to the what? To the manager. You know, hey, this is not what I order. You're complaining. You see? You don't understand what you're talking about? You know what Janelle is complaining right now? Yes. Okay, cool. So everybody has complained. For example, tell me, what was your last complaint, uh, David? For example, my last complaint was, um, for example, last night, because my neighbor was with music out loud. <laughs> exactly. And, and you, it and was you wanted only, to go to sleep, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And it was 10 o'clock. 10 p.m. Oh my God, I'm sorry about that. All righty, what about you, Francisco? What was the last time that you complained about? And what was it, by the way? I'm sorry, teacher, I don't understand. The word complained? Yes. Uh, for example, when you are not happy about the, about what the results that you have. For example, um, uh-huh. You go to a hotel. Let's think about that. Oh, have you traveled, by the way? Have you traveled? Traveled? Traveled, that means that have you go to another country or another city of the Salvador? Oh, yes. Yeah? yes. Have you stayed in a hotel? Yes. Okay, when you stayed in a hotel, when you make a reservation, what do you expect about the hotel that you're going to spend the night? Uh, I uh I have my room. Uh huh. I uh, I have we uh uh the, my reservation. Mm hmm. Actually, exactly. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, of course, everything has to be clean, right? Clean that you have, for example, shampoo that you have uh, a hot water, etc. Right? 
that every that the air conditioner works fine if you're going to go to a hot city or at least to have the uh, and a really working window, right? Yes. But imagine that you made a reservation that you already paid for that, and when you arrived to the hotel, it was not what you were expecting for. Air conditioner is not working. Windows are broken. The bed are making like it's not comfortable at all. Okay. Will you be happy? No, never, not not. So you will have a complaint. You see, you're gonna make a complaint. You're gonna say, "Hey, this I pay for that, but this is not what I pay for." I need it, my money. Exactly, cause I, I you pay for a for a decent uh, room, right? Okay, yes, I do. Pay. So now you understand what it's complaining about. Yes, I understand. Now good. Okay, excellent. And we have many, many, many examples. Tell me something, guys. Have you complained recently about, um, let's see, about your, who's with the mother? Nobody lives with her mother? No? Yes, yeah. I do. Lisa? I do. Janelle, yeah. no? You live with your mama, okay. I do, too. You, oh, you do, too, Alex? Yes, oh, yes. Oh, that's nice. That's good. Uh-huh. Okay. Have you complained with your mother recently, Alex? No, I don't. I have many, many days. Uh-huh. Uh, I think. Uh, Are you sure? I don't, I don't believe I you. I stopped well, doing this. Try. I stopped doing the, the complaint to, to her. I don't. Why? Why you stop doing that? Um, because she got a little bit um about um about mm -hmm. um health, so ah. I start to yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, to complain to her too. Okay, I, I understand that. Okay, very yeah. good, guys. Let me ask you: Who has a, a cell phone? Who has a cell phone? Raise your hand. Who has cell phone? Everybody, right? Everybody has their cell phone. Okay, no matter which company, right? Eda as well, okay? All righty. Does your cell phone internet works fine all the time? Have you gone to a city or a place that where you don't have internet and there is no Wi-Fi? Yes. Yeah? There is no signal, and so you can get online. Mm -hmm. Or for example, um, have you go to a place and you have taken a taxi, Uber or in driver, whatever, and the driver tries to charge you too much? Yeah, Does that had happened to you? Yes. Yeah, right? Mm-hmm. All right, and <laughs> guys, uh, I don't know, but in this here in this in the states is more common. But most of you have a um, a washing machine, right? Or you have to take your clothes to a to a cleaner area. No, I have a washing machine. You have a washing machine, but um, and who wash the 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 clothes most of the time? Is it you? Is it the service lady? Is it your mother? Who, for example, Francisco, what about you? You watch your own clothes. I can think about it, all right? On clothes? The, you wash your clothes, right? Yeah. Okay. Did that happen to you by any chance that you put all the clothes together and for some reason you uh changed the color of your clothes by accident? Oh, okay. Thank God. Never. Never? Never happens to you that, Janelle? Thank God. Never. Oops. Happened to me. That had <laughs> happens to me. Like, oops. Yeah. Especially when you put like a red t shirt with white clothes, right? 
it ended up changing into pink color, by the way. <laughs> so guys, these are many complaints. Oh, for example, who has gone to the doctor and had wait a long time for an appointment? Raise your hand. Be honest, especially if you go to the East, right? You have your appointment at 2 p.m., for example, and it's 2.30, 3, 3.30, 4, and you're still waiting for the doctor. Is that had happened to you? In special seguro social. Uh-huh. Will you be happy about that? No. No? Tell me, let's talk about that, that one, that last example that I mentioned to you. What would you do if you have an appointment and the doctor takes forever to arrive to the appointment? What do you do? You keep waiting? You go straight ahead to the secretary? What do you do? Yeah, I ask you for the secretary. Uh -huh. What, happened what about you, Janelle? I don't have patience. I live this. <laughs> you live immediately, <laughs> right away. <laughs> what about you, Francisco? Uh, I I have patience, but uh, I ask Too him, much. ask him for the what happened. The doctor, he come or no? Mm hmm. Well, if you're in the east, you know the time that you are arrived at the appointment. You don't have a time when you're leaving, right? But what about if you go to a private doctor? Do you still there? You do like Janelle, you just disappear. What do you do? You expect you receive a uh, good attention mm -hmm. because you're paying the attention. Yes, exactly. Exactly. You're right about that. So you see, we have many situations or everybody has passed to many situations where you make complaints. For example, you're in the bank. And you're making lines. You're in the supermarket. You got away, right? Especially if it's only two cashiers. Okay. So you see, everybody has passed to many situations when you're not happy about something and you need to complain. Guys, what what is exactly the words or the grammar or how we can express ourselves much better when we are talking about problems? How we talk about problems in English? What are at least three ways to use grammar to talk about that, to talk about complaints? You know what? To be continued. Guess what? We're going to see that tomorrow. I teacher, don't be so mean. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we're going to talk about how we, when we're talking about complaints, there are some many ways that we can talk about them. To be continued. And exactly, to be continued for tomorrow. But I'm going to give you some like uh, sneak peek, if I can say that. We're going to talk about gerunds. We're going to use adjectives and we're going to use nouns with participles. That's what we're going to see tomorrow. And Jonelle's like, what are you talking about, my old lady? I don't understand a bit of why you have said. Okay, don't worry about it. You will see it tomorrow, Janelle. So today, I will be a nice teacher. I will leave everybody to rest in peace. No, to sleep in peace as of right now. And tomorrow, the blood will start. Okay. What oh a my god what a terrible <laughs> smile i have right you are yes. so bad <laughs> only only oh, only good, you can ask me only the, I'm, 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 I'm a nice teacher <laughs> it, oh <my> god. <laughs> <laughs> no don't it's... worry don't worry it will it will be nice i promise you'll see i'm go i gave you like a snap peek right now because basically to prepare your brain for tomorrow you'll see it's easy peasy queasy it's like a piece of cake. You'll see what, what I'm talking about tomorrow. Any doubts, any questions, feel free to ask me right now. No? 
No, teacher. No, no everything teacher. is clear no. like bota or clear like horchata. Clear by the horchata. Clear like horchata so far. It's like okay. I think okay, it would be like Chuco, but that's okay. Okay, Francisco, go ahead. Uh, teacher, in, in, in the, uh, you, may, you say the, uh, for uh, um, play, um, gay. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the name of the, the, the game? And the name of the game. Ah, uh -huh. I got good. You can read, I, write it. Can I write it? Yes, of course. Okay, thank you. You're more than welcome. It's already there. But that will be at the end of the week. So you got to be prepared, okay? <laughs> okay, guys, it was a pleasure to meet you for the first time here this week in this model. Hopefully, we will continue working each other. And see you later, alligators. Have a nice night. Take care. Sweet dreams. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.